Man, oh man, oh man, Kanye West. You know, I've been very critical of Kanye on my channel for quite some time, but you know, at this point, I think it's time to stop being critical for just for one second, for one second, because I actually, again, in this situation that Kanye has gotten himself into, actually feel bad for him. So Kanye and Kim have obviously divorced, as you guys know, and now Kanye is apparently being forced to pay $200,000 a month in child support. Kanye West has to pay $200,000, not a year, not every five years, not every three years, a month in child support. Now, in case y'all forgot, Kim Kardashian's rich. I'm pretty sure she's a billionaire. Kanye lost his billionaire status because he came out and had his little anti-Semitic controversy and Adidas dropped him because, you know, Adidas is a German company. They can't afford to be caught up in the, you know, the stuff that Kanye's got going on right now. So Kanye lost his billionaire status. Understandable. But Kim is an actual billionaire still. She's genuinely a billionaire still. And it, 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 it doesn't, it just, I just don't understand. It's not, it's not making sense to me as to why Kim Kardashian needs $200,000 a month from Kanye. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. You know, I want to sneak a joke in there that I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make that joke about the, about the judge. Cause you know, I don't want my channel getting banned, but you know, it, 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 it makes me wonder who the judge was that ordered this because they just gave Kanye a nasty L. Kanye, Kanye is paying two hundred thousand a month in child support to a literal billionaire. It doesn't get any more ridiculous and cartoonish than that. What the fuck could Kim Kardashian possibly do with two hundred thousand a month that she can't already do by herself? And let's just say, in a hypothetical reality, in a hypothetical situation, in an alternate reality, Kanye dies and Kim die in the same day. Those kids are still set for life. Their assets go to their kids, I would imagine. And then on top of that, the Kardashian clan is not lacking in any money in any capacity. They're all rich. They're all set for life. The Jenners, the Kardashians, that whole big family, they're all set forever. They're all set forever. What what, what do they gain from doing this to Kanye? And, you know, on, and, and uh, Kanye's been saying a lot of shit that I disagree with, genuinely. And ironically enough, shit like this, where Kanye is being slighted in the most ridiculous and just out of bounds of ways, it only exacerbates the problem. It only lends more strength to what Kanye is saying, and it only ignites the fire that's fueling the people who are pushing this anti-Semitic craziness in this country. And I'm not trying to blame the victim here, but I'm being honest. You know, I don't know what they were trying to accomplish by making Kanye pay $200,000 a month in child support, but it's not accomplishing the goal that they might be trying to. If they're trying to delegitimize Kanye, Kanye is doing that well on his own. Anytime you disagree with him in an interview or push back against him, he tries to get up and leave and walk away from the interview like he's a child. Kanye does a very good job on his own of making himself look stupid unbelievable unreliable intellectually ideologically i personally am not convinced by too much of what kanye is saying as it pertains to almost anything if i'm being honest but to make the man pay two hundred thousand a month in child support to someone who's already a billionaire come on really 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 what are we like what do we accomplish with something like this like what, are, what what's happening here this is just disgusting, and the fact that Kanye hasn't said anything about it yet means he's probably trying to sport this one out like a good sport, but golly, 200000 a month? What could she possibly do with that that she can't already do? Let Kanye have his money, bro. The man's already lost his billionaire status. Apparently, Apple Pay frees the man's accounts. You know, apparently they froze the man's money. They're trying to do everything in their power to basically take this man's entire life from him. I mean, his personal trainer threatened to kidnap him and lock him away. Well, his personal trainer threatened to lock him up, to get him put away to a, a rehabilitation center for the rest of his life and take him away from his children. You know, Kanye, despite a lot of the nasty stuff he said recently, Kanye's fighting some really dark forces. He is. And it's it's sad to see that, you know, he's being forced to pay two hundred thousand dollars a month to somebody who doesn't need that money. It's just disgusting. And this is what happens, you know, and men sit there and say things like, oh, you know, I would never get married and people get upset. It's like, why are you upset 
that con- that that men are saying that they don't want to get married. When you look at what happened with Kanye, Kanye's paying a chick that's unbelievably rich for ju- for just her body. He's paying her two hundred thousand a month in child support because the court ordered it. Are you surprised that men don't want to get married now? What, I'm supposed to take the wealth and status that I've built for myself and throw it at this chick who didn't help me build any of it? What, just because we had a family together? Come on, and she's already rich as it is. Why does she need 200000 a month? This is the problem. Society wants dudes to split everything they've built with these chicks, but these chicks don't show up when you're down in the mud grinding. They show up later. They show up later, and then you gotta pay them two hundred thousand a month in child support. This is the type of shit that's destroying the family structure in America. It is. This is this is what's destroying the family structure in America. Men don't want to get married because men don't want to lose half their. Well, this is a lot of money. Two hundred thousand a month. Jesus Christ. I'm not good at math. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter this into the calculator. Hold on a second. Bear with me because my I'm not I'm not very smart. Two hundred thousand times. 12 lord have mercy he's paying the woman 2 million a fucking year 2.4 million a year as if she doesn't already get paid enough for her body for a sex tape this is this is what we're dealing with now in society this is how shitty and how out of control society has become and i sound like a conservative here but common sense is common sense this is just disgusting 200,000 a month really really and then they wonder why the family structure in America is absolute garbage. What man in his right mind that builds a legacy as grandiose and as amazing as Kanye West would take it and sacrifice it on the tabernacle of this ridiculous, broken family structure we have in America where the court orders the man to throw millions of dollars at a woman a year that she doesn't need? She doesn't need. It's unfortunate. This isn't this isn't even it doesn't take 200,000 a month to take care of a child at all in any capacity you know what they really need to do is spend time with their father so what they really need to do they need to spend time with their father not getting 200 that not kim getting 200 thousand a month it's fucking crazy it's an evil world we live in it's a very evil world that we live in and they're trying everything they can to destroy kanye because he said he came out and started an anti-semitic controversy he started spreading anti-Semitic sentiment. And now they're trying to destroy this man and take everything from him. It's just the truth. Two things can be true at the same time. Kanye is spreading hate. Kanye is also simultaneously having everything stripped from him. His businesses, his Apple Pay, his family, his money being sent to Kim Kardashian that she doesn't need. It's unbelievable to watch, but we'll see how everything turns out. You know, I've, crit- I've criticized Kanye heavily because I'm very anti-anti-Semitism. I don't like racism. I don't like anti-Semitism. I'm, I'm completely against anti- anti-black, anti-white, anti-Jewish, anti-anything sentiment. I'm against it. So I have to stand, to my, stand 10 toes down on my morals of being anti-racism when it comes to this Kanye situation but this just ain't right <laughs> this this in particular bro this, this just isn't right this has to be fixed we'll see what happens we'll see what Kanye says in response like comment subscribe I'm out